camera captured deer giving birth to her fawn. Then, something surprising happened. When a white-tailed deer named Lacey was about to give birth, the people who cared for her at the Shadow Valley Deer Farm were beyond excited to welcome the fawn into the world. But right after the arrival of the healthy baby, the keepers were astonished by what they saw. Lacey is a female albino deer who lives at the Shadow Valley Deer Farm in West Virginia. They specialize in breeding white-tailed deer of unusual colors and patterns, like white and piebald. A deer's regular brown-colored fur helps it to blend into its surroundings, but a white deer would be very visible amongst trees and grasses in the wild, putting it at greater risk. It would be an easy mark for hunters and predators. Luckily, all the deer who live at Shadow Valley don't have to worry about hunters or predators. They are safe and secure in spacious enclosures. Lacey is one of the staff's favorite animals at the deer farm. About two weeks after Lacey's birth, her mother passed away, and the poor animal was left all alone. She felt out of place and struggled to eat. The staff wasn't sure if she could make it on her own. Some of them even started to give up on her. But one staff member, Becca, didn't lose hope and took on the role of being Lacey's mom. Lacey also suffered different infections, but thankfully the vets at the farm loved every single animal and always went to extreme lengths to save them. So everyone helped out a lot with nursing Lacey back to health. Becca was also thrilled that her efforts didn't go to waste, and she continued taking care of Lacey. Soon enough, she developed a close bond with the deer. So it didn't come as a surprise to the other staff that Becca was the first person who noticed Lacey's pregnancy. Apart from Lacey's zeal for life and survival instincts, there's another reason Lacey held a special place in the keeper's heart. Her unique coat color, a condition called albinism, caused Lacey's unique white-colored coat. It's a genetic trait where an animal will have a total lack of melanin, which means they have no pigmentation or color in their body. This causes them to appear white and pink, the latter of which is because the blood vessels are visible through their skin. Albino animals are a very rare sight, and albino deer are no exception. People often consider themselves quite lucky if they happen to spot or own an albino animal. With Lacey's coat being uniquely colored, the excited staff looked forward to seeing her future offspring. They were hoping she would produce more rare albino deer for the farm. Nothing was sure, of course, and they just had to wait and see. Male deer usually reach sexuality at around two years old, while female deer start mating at a younger age and can start reproducing as early as seven months old. But in Lacey's case, it was different. She refused to mate with any of the male deer on the farm. Most of the male deers were dominant and she just wouldn't go near them. However, when the staff brought in a lower ranking male, Lacey took the initiative and went to him herself. We were so glad that she was finally open to being with a male, and we couldn't wait for her to conceive," Becca said. The staff began to keep an eye on her, both to record the occasion and to be nearby in case she would need any help during the birth. It's often difficult to tell if a deer is pregnant until she's farther along, but of course, the staff at the farm had experience with many deer and they knew what to look for. So when Becca noticed Lacey begin to clean her fur frequently, she suspected that the animal was pregnant and then she told the others about it. They waited a few more weeks, and by then they noticed a large bulge in Lacey's lower abdomen. Becca was right, the farm's favorite animal was pregnant. Sadly, this joy wouldn't last long. Lacey ended up losing the pregnancy in the second trimester, and she briefly fell ill. We were so happy she was finally pregnant, so it was really devastating when she lost the pregnancy. We were so sad for her, but we believed she would pull through, Becca said. Six months after losing her pregnancy, Lacey became pregnant again. And it was this particular pregnancy that would get millions of people talking. The length of a deer's pregnancy depends on the species, but most deer pregnancies last between 180 to 200 days. So around this time, Becca started following pregnant Lacey. Of course, she didn't make it too obvious, she didn't want to frighten the animal. Becca noticed that Lacey would often frequent the meadow area, as if she was already looking for the perfect spot where she would give birth. About two weeks later, Lacey became restless and showed physical signs that the time was drawing near. That clearly meant one thing, she had gone into labor. 
Lacey went to the meadow area, and Becca followed closely behind her. Determined to capture the birth of the fawn, Becca set up her camera. She tried not to take her eyes off the deer, but what started as an interesting activity soon became exhausting. Just like humans, deer also labor for long hours, and Lacey labored throughout the night. Luckily for Becca, when she opened her eyes the following day, Lacey had still not delivered. But she knew they were now closer than ever, and the pretty little thing would come out at any time. For a few seconds, Becca looked away from the deer. And it was just at this moment that Lacey had delivered her baby. A beautiful little fawn that was looking a lot like Bambi. The tiny deer had a regular brown coat. Thinking it was over, and feeling devastated that she had failed to capture the incredible moment, Becca got up to leave. But that was when she noticed Lacey wasn't done yet. It seemed she would give birth to another baby. Most first-time mothers usually give birth to just one fawn. Lacey's case was almost a miracle. While preparing to give birth to the second fawn, the doting mother still tended to her first fawn. She laid quietly beside him on the floor, and as any good mother would, she groomed his fur with her tongue. The fawn made his way around his mother and even began searching for a source of milk. But since Lacey was still lying down, the fawn wouldn't be able to nurse just yet. After a few minutes of grooming the firstborn fawn, Lacey showed signs of giving birth to her second baby. She stopped licking the first fawn, and just then, Becca zoomed the camera in, and within a few seconds, two tiny hoofs emerged. Just before the second fawn was completely born, his sibling made his way over to inspect it, and even began to lick his twin brother. Grooming is a powerful bonding activity between deer both for mother and child, as well as between siblings. Forming that close bond is a key part of their survival, because these fawns will depend on their mother for the first part of their life. While Becca was expecting another brown fawn, something completely unexpected came out of Lacey. It took Becca completely aback when the second fawn made its appearance. Just like its mother, it was white all over. It might be hard to tell at first, because in these first few moments of life, a fawn is still coated in a yellowish afterbirth. While Lacey groomed her second baby further, an important moment between the two, its snowy white coat became completely visible. After giving birth to the second fawn, Lacey finally stood up, now ready to nurse her babies. Lacey will spend several weeks with her two new babies as they grow and learn all the life skills a deer will need.